No, I'm sorry. Well, I, um, I'm trying to keep it together here because I just had a phone call. Um, when I got when when, when I got out of the show. <sighs> I'm not going to be able to do this video today. Um, I just got off the phone with my husband. Usually he's gone five or six days. You know, and I get him for two day, um, Saturday night and Sunday night. I get him for a day and two nights, I guess you'd say. And I just got off the phone with him. And um, he's having to work in Georgia right now. And... Um, it's bad enough when I'm having to be here and deal with what I deal with with the disease five or six days alone and he's only here a day and two nights to kick in or he takes an extra day off but right now um two weeks maybe longer before I see him <laughs> I mean we, we he had discussed it with me over the weekend that you know they're in Georgia, and they're having to go into a railroad track, and it could take, they've been working on it for months to get to the railroad track, and now they're at it, and they're doing a 24-7, and he does the day shift during the, um, he's supposed to be working in Athens, and he's staying in Cleveland, and then he go gets up and has to go to Georgia, and um, deal with that, and the head honcho, the head bo boss is, working tonight with another gentleman and then he's got to wake up and it's nine o'clock there and he's got to wake up and go to work there and it, we had prepared for you know either he'd come home this friday and then he'd be gone for another seven days try and do that but his phone call tonight or a few minutes ago was um <laughs> i'm not gonna get to see him for at least two weeks or longer He's hoping to at least be able to come sometime and see me for one night. But driving all the way from where he is in Georgia, he'd come home at 10 o'clock my time. And then turn around and have to get up at 2 here to go to Georgia to start work again the next morning. Since it's a 24-7 shift for seven days a week. And, um... You don't realize how much. <laughs> it's going to be hard. And I'm trying to keep it together while I'm doing this video. So I'm not falling. Two weeks or longer before I see him. And he'll end up having to just send his check through his brother to me. So I can get the bills paid. Because... He honestly has no clue next time he'll be able to come home. And, I mean, they've got it where they're doing their laundry up there. They're purchasing their foods at night. So, as far as I know for the next, I was expecting to see him this Friday. And then he was going to have to go back for another seven days. I mean, that's the way they were thinking. They just didn't know. And tonight was a final, yeah, they're going to. I have to do the seven days a week until it, it goes through and it's like concrete underneath the train track as he puts it and I'm usually a very strong person and I usually can keep <laughs> it together But now, if it, it, it I, I, I deal with this at home alone a lot, even though I'm married, and I understand he has to work, but I'm so used to him coming home on the weekends, if it, even if it's just a day, and to know it's going to be two weeks to a month before I see him or if I do see him it'll be once or twice in a month until this job is done is heartbreaking to me
and with everything I'm dealing with on top of it. It makes your depression, when if you have depression through this, which I do, everybody knows this, on my post is going to make it harder to keep my shit together. Excuse my grammar. Without me dropping my basket, that's how I'm going to put that. Because he's what grounds me and keeps me together. And to know I'm not going to see him for uh, maybe once or twice in one month or longer is not going to be easy for me. And it's not easy for him, as he put it. But I mean, my day, I did a beginner's Tai Chi. The 15-minute beginner's Tai Chi, which I feel like I need to do now, but so it'll cleanse me and make me just calm me. And I took a shower, and it wiped me out, and I slept. And woke up around 3 or 4. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be Skyping with Mike tonight. My prayers go out to Jenny. This is the day, and hope you get have a better day tomorrow. This is going to be hard. I mean, it'd be fine if I was completely single and wasn't married and I was going through this alone, but when you have someone... <laughs> That that's around you and so, I'm okay, Hayes. And is there when you need them? And now you can't see them, but maybe once or twice a month, due to their job, is makes it 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 it, it, it doubles the stress. I don't know. Right, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping I'll be fine tomorrow. But at the moment, I'm, 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 I'm feeling low due to this, and I'm, like I said, I'm trying not to break on screen. God bless, guys.